Senator Peter Nwebunye, representing Ebony North in the 10th Senate, has commended Senate President Goswila Kwabu for his outstanding leadership, praising his ability to foster a sense of unity and inclusivity in the Senate. Mwebohi noted that Kwabi has demonstrated impartiality and fairness in his approach, says there is no an iota of bias or handedness in him. I must tell you, it has been wonderful under the leadership of our Ebo Senate President, His Excellency Goswil Akwabio. Like uh, he is known as an uncommon transformer. He has actually proved that in all ramifications. In terms of bringing the senators together, in terms of carrying all the senators along in all he does, in terms of being a father to all the senators. And there is one quality that uh, he possesses, which is very rare among our contemporary modern leaders. And that is, he has no iota of high handedness in him. And that is a very nice quality. And that has earned him the love, trust, and respect of all the 109 senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The lawmaker urged Nigerian youth to think beyond white collar jobs and embrace creativity and self employment. He emphasized that entrepreneurship is the key to success in today's Nigeria. To remind Nigerian youth, nothing good comes easy. I went to communities, I went to villages, I shared it to over 8,000 households. I didn't stop at that. Through the help of Mr. President, through agricultural inputs, I also engaged over 4,000 farmers. I gave them dry seedlings, I gave them herbicides, I gave them fertilizer. What am I doing to make life better for my people? Because that is my covenant with God. After that, I also coughed out a whooping sum of 50 million naira to settle the school fees of indigent students, including those who are not even from Ebony State. I know a student from uh, Ogun State, some are from Imbo State, who are doing medicine in Ebony State, Federal University, Federal University in Ebony State. But their fees have accumulated to about 1.3 million, and they were on the verge of being laid out. But these are first class medical students. I said no. Because when you go to the hospital, the doctor that will treat you must not come from your state. I said, the dream of this hardworking young Nigerian youth will not die. I have to offset their bills. And today they are back to school. And I promise to continue to offset their bills till they graduate. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to extend that hands of fellowship across Niger. Because we are one Nigeria. So I'm even from Benue. Like I've mentioned, about nine of them are from different states. I know in future, they will tell the story that there was a senator called Onyeka Chumwebodi, who they don't know. As I speak to you, I don't know them. I didn't meet them. I, I, I've never met with them. It is the vast chancellor that wrote me and raised those concerns. He reaffirmed the 10th Assembly's commitment to supporting the minimum wage struggle led by the organized labor. The labor are agitating for wage increment. We are standing with the labor. We've had meetings with them. We encourage them. Because looking at the prices of goods today in the market, we agree with you that it has even tripled, not double. And we are standing with labor that the executive should look at what the labor is saying. 62,000 naira is not enough. I, as a person, none of my staff receives less than 100,000 naira. I started the minimum wage long before now because I am reasonable. I feel the pains of the poor. He grew more than the 10th Senate is a rubber stamp. He emphasized that the Senate is dedicated to representing the interests of the Nigerian people, including the working class, and will continue to work tirelessly to ensure that their voices are heard and demands met. Well, the Senate, the 10th Senate, under the leadership of Senator Pabio, is independent, as provided by the law. The law clearly provided for separation of power. The executive is on their lane, the parliament is on their lane, 
and the judiciary is on their lane. The bill will say they will pass within two, three days. Nigerians paid us to make laws for them. And we should do it with every sense of determination and seriousness. We don't need to stagger it for one month or for, for two months. We are paid to do this. And we are doing it with every sense of determination. We are not rubber stamp. You can see many cases when we disagree with the executive. You saw when they brought the, the bill seeking to increase the electric tariff. We kicked against it. I personally described it as a height of insensitivity. The Honorable Minister should not think of, about of that. Now that Nigerians are passing through hell, flowing the removal of the first subsidy, and they are talking of increasing the electricity tariff, you mean that you are not sensible, you are not responsive to the warnings of the people. As a parliament, we said no to that. If we are overstamped, if we are following the dictates of the executive, we will have kept good. Comfort Olayinka, DCTV News.